How's it going guys? What I'm going to show you in this video is how you can add equipment graphics within MUI. This is one of the very nice features that MUI offers is the simplicity of the graphics. I know that it can be just a little bit confusing when you first start out. However, it is a very simple process to do. You can see here we have a fan powered box uh, where we can see a lot of information off of this particular room and uh, there are a lot of people that really love graphics and they like to make sure that they can have things set up the way that they need them to give them the most relevant information as quickly as possible. What we're going to do is simply go to a particular device and we are going to add a graphic. We're going to select for this a VAV. Okay, we are going to simply click into our VAV. We see all of our text information here, our trend, uh, schedule information, if we had a schedule on this particular device. And for us, what we're using for the graphics, we currently don't have one set up. And we're going to show you how to set that up. So here it is blank. It is completely blank. And we are going to be adding it simply by going up to the skinny snowman and go to administrative tools and then we are going to go to our graphics manager okay our graphics manager is going to automatically pull us into that particular device since that's what we were pulled into and all we have to do now is click add graphic it's going to give us this window here where we have various different types of equipment uh, already pre-set up for us you know have, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a generic name and uh, you, you know if you name these I'm gonna show you a trick to adding a lot of graphics at one time so I'm just going to call this something very generic for this building something uh, you know that I can use multiple times now I'm simply going to drop this down on terminal unit and what this particular device is, is a single duct VAV. So I will select that. It's going to give me a little display of what it's going to be coming up with. And you're gonna see with this particular device, uh, there's a lot of information here that is not going to be part of this particular VAV. However, these points are all aliased, which means it's only going to pull relative points to this particular device. So I'm going to hit create. We'll see a little more about that here in just a few minutes. Once it creates it, it's going to actually bring me into a window where I can actually customize this a little if I needed to. Okay, we can see here, of course, this is showing a fan powered box which we know that this is not a fan powered box uh, so let's just go look at what we got so far okay i'm just going to hit the save button and then we will go and hit exit and i'm going to go right back in here and i'm going to go back to the particular floor the particular box where i was let's drop that down and go right back into it okay very simple now that all we did was simply ask it to grab a generic box and here we are you can see here it's just pulled a lot of the information for us some of this information is not necessarily used and you can see here that it just has it aliased you can go in and customize and do whatever we need to do for this particular device since is a cooling only box uh, no reheat or anything like that available, uh, but it did populate some things for us. Since it knows that it uh, was unable to find anything as far as being a fan-powered box, it went ahead and blew all of that out for us. So it's obvious it's not needed, so it got rid of it for us. Let's go ahead and look at a box that would have something more along the lines of what we need. You know, if we had a reheat and that sort of thing so it's kind of the exact same process okay i go in here i go up to page two this is just how we have it set up guys a lot of folks will have a graphic come up very first thing uh you know there's several ways you can do this go back into my graphics manager and i am going to select uh, add graphic again and uh, of course it is going to be a vav single duct unit 
and you can name these by the room or whatever you wanted to do uh, you know it's a very useful tool you know and i can go through here and i can do a uh, graphic for each individual one or i can do it the easy way of course you saw this this is kind of the hard way by going through and building it for each individual room so let's just cancel out of that let's go back up to our original graphic that we built okay and we put that somewhere that uh, okay here's our graphic this is the one that we built right here okay let's just go find it and pull it up live as we're looking at it just to do a comparison I'm gonna scroll down to my building uh, wrong building Just bear with me just a moment. Okay, now we have our graphic. Okay, here it is. Here it is in the edit window. You can see there's a lot of points that we don't see here that are seen here, and that goes back to where it is aliased. Okay, uh, of course, those points are not showing up here we're just going to go in here i'm going to hit the edit button i'm going to go into my edit screen and this is where we can take care of a lot of those issues okay this is uh, let's just blow it up a little bit the occupancy schedule okay that's one of the things that we don't see okay i can go in here and i can delete out any of these that i do not want right i can delete out all of this i can delete this entire block if i wanted to and then just add uh, exactly what I want okay so let's just go in here and let's just start deleting out what we don't want okay I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna leave the system parameters but I'm just gonna get rid of everything else okay and the reason for that this is an older N2 system and of course the state text is just a little bit different on it so you know that's one of the things that's playing into this let's just go back in here to my equipment let's go back to explicit i'm going to grab the occupancy point and i'm simply going to drag it over into the system parameters and i'm going to drop it then i'm going to hit save let's go back and look at what the changes did okay let's just take it just a minute now that that's populated there I'm just going to do a refresh on this. This is a live view here. Let's just do a simple refresh, and it'll take it just a few minutes to refresh the screen, but you're going to notice a difference in how the information appears. Okay, it'll just take it just a moment. I know that uh, sometimes with the way that the system does, you may even have to log out and log back in to get it to display the information correctly. Uh, it can take it a few minutes to get everything, but as you see here, there is the point where we change that so i can simply go back in here and grab a few other things that i would like i want the zone temp i'm just going to grab and drop it right in i want the discharge air temp i'm going to drag and drop it right back in if there was box heating i would use it this particular one doesn't but i'm going to drag it over there anyways and that way when i actually add in uh, box heating or add this particular graphic to some of the others that way it will populate it the way that I need it to be let's pull over the supply flow and all of these points that I need I'm just going to hit save now let's go back in and look at what we've got I go back here I hit the refresh again after I save it and you're going to see this information populate just like I did it's basic straightforward it's drag and drop it's easy to get this stuff set up once you get started. The more you fool with it, the easier it becomes. Here you can see all of those data points being pulled right in live, okay? Uh, the ones, there it is, just right there. Box heating, of course, it did not populate it because, of course, this box does not have heating available. This is a cooling-only box, so that's something that will not populate. I can go back in and delete it out for this particular box or whatever. Now that we have that set up, one thing that is a little bit of a time saver on that is I have the option here of copying. Okay, I can actually go in and copy this particular graphic. Once I get it all set up and customized the way that I want it, I simply hit copy, and then I can go down to any of the other boxes 
and simply hit the paste button and it will paste everything that I did in that first graphic onto that other one and that's how you can go in if you have a lot of boxes that are identical once you get one graphic set up to work for that box you can simply paste it into any of the other VAVs or any of the other pieces of equipment that are identical to it you know if there are a few small differences you may have to go back in to tweak those individually however that is a big time saver of being able to do that anyways guys hope this is helpful to you let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel be sure to subscribe share the videos also if you want to help support the channel check out all of the links down below anything you buy through those links uh, helps to go to support the channel if you're needing any kind of tools or anything you can go simply go through one of those links and do a search for whatever you need and that way you can help support the channel anyways guys thanks for watching check out the rest of the videos on the channel and we'll see you next time